Hello, my name is Yvonne McWright. David McWright. Uh, Dr. Mashner, I started seeing her as a glaucoma patient. I had been to other doctors and such, but I was having problems with my glaucoma and the pressure not being corrected. And she got me and she saw my pressure was high and she just went to work and she said, wow, 45, we gotta get that pressure down. So we started instilling glaucoma drops in her eyes in office and were able to, after a couple of hours, get her pressure under control. She had me coming in every week until she got my pressure down. We got my eye drops in order because I had eye drops before that was making my eyes very red, tired. They weren't working, my pressure wasn't going down. And now Dr. Meshner got my pressure down to 22. She's just so proud of me and I'm proud of her too. When she was coming in for a glaucoma follow-up, she had mentioned to me before that her husband hadn't been in for an exam in some time, but she convinced him to come into the Eye Institute for an examination. He really didn't have many complaints. He felt his vision was pretty good. And as the exam progressed, I expected this to be a fairly routine examination for glasses. I went in to take a look at the retina, and while doing binocular indirect, I found that things weren't so good, that in the periphery of the retina, there was a large horseshoe retinal tear. So we talked about what needed to be done for this patient, because this is really an urgent situation. When a patient has a retinal tear, they're at risk for the fluid that fills up the inside of the eye getting back behind the tear and lifting it away. In other words, retinal detachment. With retinal detachment, if enough of the retina lifts away, the patient can lose vision. It was scary for the, you, I know it. Right. All the way home, you were scared. Scared, right. When you found out that I torn the retina, yeah, that's like, that's it. But it, it was, uh, she took her time, she knew I was scared. <laughs> she told me, "Say you're gonna be all right. You'll be uh, back on a plane in no time." <laughs> and she did everything that she said she was gonna do. Mm -hmm. That put me in in a relief mode. I couldn't say, "Well, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back." <laughs> yeah, he wanna escape. So the student escorted uh, Mr. McWright up to advanced care. Dr. Harry Prasad successfully lasered the tear, and he's seen the patient on follow-up several times since then, and everything is good, and uh, Mr. McWright has maintained excellent vision. I can see. I can, I can go on an airplane and see the, the sky, mm -hmm. and, and that's because her and what she did. And like I said, I really don't know what she did. <laughs> <laughs> I give her thanks for that because it could have been a lot of worse. He wouldn't have known this was there until maybe he had a very, very significant eye problem. Taking care of this quickly and getting it sealed off before it proceeded to detachment saved him from maybe needing to go into the operating room to repair a big retinal detachment. Where I was going before, they, they, David went there too. They didn't catch what was going on with his eye until no, he got over to the Eye Institute. Yeah. And then my pressure in my eye, where I was going before, I couldn't even get a hold of the doctor, even during the pandemic, to get a prescription for glaucoma for my mm -hmm. eyes with the pressure. And then, then he's not over service in our community. See, that's another thing. The Eye Institute is in our community. We have students and doctors who are working with us in our communities with our problems because we have a lot of problems in the community and we don't have access, but the Eye Institute, we have access to the best skills mm -hmm. that you can have. The Eye Institute yeah, is there, yeah. Right, they, they stay there. there. 150 years there, you right. might be in the process of right. doing something and then you get lost right. and you're committed. But the Eye Institute is there. Mm -hmm. you know. And to stick by the community, we stick in there. Right. Like Lou, like us. <laughs> <laughs> That's true.